So Jinsan, uh, Yamada san, tell us about Wada san. Yeah, Wada san is uh, one of the kind of pioneer to renovate uh, this area uh, because he was originally born here. And he was in a uh, uh, system engineer in Tokyo, but uh, after the disaster, he decided to come back. And then he encouraged young people. And then he has a uh, kind of hope for the young entrepreneurs. So he uh, helping a lot of kind of uh, people. And then he is doing a co-working space and the incubators uh, here in Odaka. So he's uh, pretty much uh, interesting and then, uh, very uh Self-motivated. Yeah. Now he's a very uh, dynamic person. I would say he's a young person, but I don't know how old he actually is. Uh, and he had something called the uh, Odaka Worker Space, which was right next to the Futabaya uh, Inn in Odaka, where we stay. Uh, and then he uh, got good funding to build a slightly larger space, a kind of co-working space called Pioneer Village of Odaka. And we visited him about two weeks ago and he showed us around, we talked about it. And the beautiful thing, his vision was to make 100 new companies, mm. yeah. to make 100 new companies and not big factories or anything. He's thinking 100 new, small, viable businesses and to build a network of people in Fukushima, in this area, uh, near Odaka, Minami Soma, maybe Nami as well, people who want to do that and, and are willing to help each other. Yeah. yeah, so he's a great guy. And he's a friend of Yamad, uh, Yamadera's. He introduced us and since then we've all stayed in touch. Uh, so, yeah, okay. Okay, thank you for that. We're going to now go over to Wada-san. And I met Wada-san on multiple occasions. And as, as, as we were saying, he's an amazing gentleman. Here he comes. They're waiting for us. Konnichiwa. Hi, Wada-san, you must go. Wada-san, hi. Akemasu. Hi, I'm Wada-san. Hi. 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 Odaka Pioneer Village. Odaka Pioneer Village. We're here with Mr. Wada. Uh, Tomoyuki, Tomoyuki Wada, who is a young entrepreneur from Odaka, and he evacuated to Aizu, which is in western Fukushima, after the disaster, uh, and then soon came back. Um, uh, how's English? A little English or Japanese? Japanese. <laughs> 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 Okay. So he opened some, a place he called the uh, Odaka Worker Space, which is uh, in the building next to uh, Futabaya. It's also now an Airbnb called Lantern House, run by our friend Karin Tyra. And uh, in 2014, uh, late 2014, he opened that, and that uh, ran until uh, maybe Kyonen Made is that? So yeah, yeah. Okay. So he ran that until two years ago, so that would be 2019. Uh, uh, and then he had the idea to, to make this place, this uh, Pioneer Village, which is uh, a nicely made, simple building, uh, open construction, steel construction. It has an event space where we're sitting now. It has a kitchen. Uh, it has working space, co-working space. It has a, a studio for making glassware, which he also had at the um, uh, worker base next to Fatabaya. And it also has five rooms for people to stay. So kind of a shared living situation for people coming through to work. Pioneer Village no vision toka idea ga ma chotto hanashite itadakimasu de shou ka? Hai. So desu ne. Etto, ma kono Odaka atte iu machi ni bokura ano 100の事業を作ろうとしているんですけれども、そこで事業を作っていく企業家たちの拠点としてここを作りました。He had the idea to make 100 new businesses in Odaka. 
and this is intended as kind of an anchor, as a, a place to uh, get these these businesses started. So people can come here and uh, you know become involved in the city and uh, do their basic planning and, and start their businesses. So no no hyaku kan hyaku shan no kikyo tiu no wa no nanen ga yaku karu tomoimasu ka. Eto no あの原発の廃炉と同じぐらいの時間かなと思ってるんで、まああと三十年ぐらいかなと思って。Okay. Yeah, I asked him how long he thinks it'll take to establish a hundred new businesses here, and he said, well, he's thinking the timing will be pretty parallel to the decommissioning of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear reactor, which they're thinking thirty years at minimum.、Uh, so that's actually a long-term plan. そのに長いスパンで考える人はあまりないじゃないですか。ど,どうしてそういうことができるのかなそうですね。まあ、ここで生まれ育って、今後もここに住もうと思ってますし、やろうとしていることが、あの、まあ、この街を、何か大きな企業一社に、こう、依存してしまう、経済も雇用も依存してしまう地域じゃなくて、小さくても多様な事業者がたくさん生まれているような、うそういう街にしたいなと思っているんで、Well, basically, it really means sort of changing the character of the town from what it had been before to, you know, finding a new kind of viability,、uh, which is something that we hear from a lot of people who've returned、uh, and who are forward thinking that、uh, it, the population is not going to be like it was before.、Uh, it's not going to return to what it was before, but there's a new way. And in this case, you know, the idea is to have. A hundred small companies basically、uh, to have a new dynamic, a new sort of economic、uh, ecosystem、uh, that involves a hundred small companies, which of course means you know, employment for other people as well.、Uh, and it's a long term vision. It's a very unusual, I think, to have a, a kind of business vision like this that will span 30 years or more.、Um, どううしようかちょっと上が見ていいですか案内してくれる So he's going to take us and、uh, show us around a little bit upstairs and make some other places. Okay, the basic, the second floor surround balcony, this is workspace, it's a co working space. So there's tables and work tables and displays and things and lots of outlets. And、uh, over on the other side, there's also tables and such, so people can work here.、Uh, and also, if they want, they can sit down here on this,、uh, this you know, set. Uh, there's cushions and you see the hammock, they can relax and use their computers, etc. as well. Yeah, and there's a full kitchen, and of course,、uh, people who are staying here can use that, or if they're having an event, they can also make food, and that's kind of an essential thing for communication. You know, this making food and eating together is important for communication.、Uh, Back here are the rooms where people stay. It says guests only. It's the、uh, sort of like dorm rooms.、Uh, go out, not the, the doors are all closed, the, they're locked at the moment, but they have、uh, beds, dump, dump beds, etc. And I think there's one. What's in the book of living in Thailand? Living in Thailand. Uh-huh. So they're, they're very small rooms, but they have、uh, you know, bunk beds, double beds. So,、um, and it's still got some there. It's got that. Okay, uh, basically, people are, are living there. Uh, and uh, so it's a shared, kind of a share house, which is、oh, in Japan. A trend over the last decade or so that people you know, who are not related live together,、uh, use shared bath and kitchen, etc.、Uh, and it's kind of a, a new uh, social 
uh, thing that we're seeing in Japan and uh, probably will become more and more influential. They do have very short-term guests as well. People stay for one night or something. There's the laundry area, some uh, wash basins, uh, toilets, the entry areas here, uh, some showers, a bath. Yeah, so it's, you know, basically everything you need, but uh, people sacrificing a little bit of privacy for the sake of community. So this is really, you know, the idea that the people who are making these businesses will have a lot of time together and get to know each other and make a community. So there's ways that the passages through the building go around uh, every way. It's full. Floor around the entire building. Alright, so we'll take a look at the glass studio. And this glass studio has basically been transplanted from the worker base near Futabia, where it was. Uh, uh, all women uh, making beautiful glass objects, and they have a little small shop where they sell them as well. Sort of an unusual thing uh, to do, I think. Again, beautiful, beautiful light. Beautiful light. Great workspace, uh, well equipped. Everyone has their torches, etc., for doing the glass, um, making small ornaments, small design goods, jewelry, accessories, etc. Okay, so there's five people. Now, again, all women uh, who are working here now. あ、そうで、ワークショップとかもやるんですか。ワークショップもやります。はい。あの、小さなペンダントを1時間で作ることとかって。で、あと、こっち開け。で、別にいいですよ。はい。いやいや、無理しなくていいよ。<笑><笑